okay this is a crystal report video and we are back again let's start with the cross tab report this time something different okay now let me explain to you first what is cross tab cross tab is nothing but just a summarized report but just in a different format first until and unless you understand what is the cross tab you will not be able to create a cross tab report the cross tab report is a just a summary report okay nothing more nothing less just showing you in a different format it is used for analysis and many of the organizations use the cross tab report for the analysis it is a management tool okay for the analysis of the data okay every organization doesn't require a cross tab report but may require some re cross tab report some organization may require it on a regular basis depending upon how they actually analyze their data okay and how the data is represented in their database okay so let's start with the cross tab report before starting the cross tab report i'll just give you example what a cross tab report is okay suppose if you had a data of east west north south okay and you had a data in the same for the sales of the quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 or quarter 4 coin uh, quarter 4 sorry or maybe for january february march and so on to the december okay or maybe you have a report that is saying the east west north south or the city's name or the state name and it is depending upon the what the data is maybe yearly 2010 2011 2012 and so on and so forth okay so this is how the data for the cross tab report would be okay this is how the and data at the report would be looking at okay now if you have never uh, created a cross tab report you have to just wait and see how the cross tab report is created cross tab report is nothing but a summary of a report just in a different format okay let's be clear about it okay let's start with it Okay, I already have a connection. Okay, this I am going to use the public database from the that comes with the Microsoft SQL Server. I am connected to Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, it can be you can connect it to the Access also. The database is usually the same if you have it on the with the Access. Okay, it also is available with the older version of Sybase. Okay, now I am going to select the three tables that is Sales. Okay, titles. And title author. And I'm going to select the next. Okay, these tables are linked. Okay, I have already explained to you how they are related. Okay, I'll, let uh, let me explain it to you once again. Okay, now you see. Let's see the title ID is the primary key in the titles. Okay, it's a foreign key in the title author. AU ID is again a uh, foreign key in the title authors, which is actually author ID. Okay, and this is how they are related to each other. Okay, the order number is the primary key in the sales, and the title ID is a foreign key. Okay, let's move to the next. now we have come to the cross tab screen okay in the cross tab screen you have to actually decide what field would be showing up in the row what field would be showing up in the column or and what field would be showing up in the summary okay usually suppose if you wanted to actually create a regionalized report east west north south so that you can put it that thing in the, the row east west north south and in the column you may have a quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 okay or maybe the year 2010 2011 2012 and so forward okay and in the summary there would be some of these fields okay depending upon what the numeric field was okay now this is going to be a similar thing and i'm going to show you how to actually create a report okay in the title fields okay in the row i'm going to select the title and going to move it here okay and in the up table up columns i am going to select the type 
okay and move it to the column and uh, I'm going to move the quantity as a summary field okay this should suffice the cross tab report okay next to the move to the next I'm not go going to put any chart right now next no filter required next I'm going to leave it as it no no template I'm going to use it whatever the style is I'm going to keep it as it is and the cross tab report is just popping up okay there we have okay now let's actually create okay I cannot see the field so let me actually so let me make the field actually because there is no way of actually dragging the row okay the only way you can actually make this thing bigger or smaller is making the dragging that field okay there is no way actually trying to pull the lines okay so what do you do you make it a little bit bigger okay and it becomes bigger see still it is not fitting it if I make it a little bit bigger still it will actually go out of the page okay so I have to just check into it that I am not going to push it a little bit too much now I can put it a little bit downwards what happens okay this is how you actually have got the report okay now let's go and see what the report shows okay this is how it is okay this is cross tab this is the type and this is the title okay let's pay, press the page down okay we are we in the end we have a total okay okay so far so good okay let's move to the up first page now we already have the report let's do some formatting now okay so right click on the report okay and select the cross top expert okay already you can see this is how the report is suppose if I wanted to change something I can bring out bring down drag down any field here the similar way I dragged it, it. I can also move this thing to the upwards okay and I can bring the type down and see what the report is let's go and see it okay now we have a different format okay and this is how you can actually check up with your reports and whatever the format you want okay how you want to analyze the data okay let's go and check it put it in the same manner as it was previous let's put the type back to the same place and title down okay and let's go and say ok and there we have again the formatting is gone again I will have to format this thing ok there we are I have already formatted it correctly ok now suppose let's go see there is style ok it allows you to actually choose a different style from here choosing the style would actually remove all your formatting whatever you have done previously ok so better be careful when you are choosing the style I am not going to change my style I am going to leave it as it is ok it is working is saying no I am going to say no ok I don't want to actually use any other style ok now let's see what is this first thing ok the repeat row label if you if I don't click it whenever I print the report the only the label would be printed only for, for the first page if I click it here it the row labels would be printed on every page okay and if you are exporting to the PDF file you better click this thing right here okay then there are other options column total on the tops okay if you want column total on the left row total on the left if you want rather than the right I will leave it as it is and suppress empty rows suppress empty columns you can always select whatever you want okay now let's go okay now let's go to a, a format grid lines first okay let me explain you what the format grid line okay you can see this line okay it's showing me black okay I can change the color of this line okay let's say I wanted to make it blue okay I can also change it the style okay maybe dashed okay now it's showing me dash 
okay now i can click up the same thing i can also again say dashed okay and i can say blue okay now i can again select the lines data here okay by clicking it and it will select all the related lines and i can select any other color if i want let's say i want to select it green okay and there we are okay i can make it any co different color point if i can make increase the point make it two point okay and make it da dash or maybe dotted okay and i can say okay okay now let's actually see how do I, okay let's go to the how do i color the actually these fields okay now it shows me the background color of the customs okay i can go and change the type let's click the type and say i want it for the type i wanted a color that was like more and maybe i will take a light color light purple okay let's see what happens okay you, just you saw it changes the whole thing now again i am going to actually go there and change the rest okay go to the custom style okay in the grand total i am going to select select another another color okay go to the more again select a pink or whatever you want okay again for the title i am going to select another color maybe this time a little bit blue and for the grand total maybe i'll select a yellow okay and there we are done with it okay and there we are with the cross tab report formatted colored anything you want you can do more formatting okay okay that's it i'll stop here i have shown you how to create a cross tab report there nothing more difficult i will just put one more thing into it and i will end it here okay let's just go to the cross tab once more okay let's take the quantity here once more again and go to change summary i could have changed it to the anything else i could have said average okay i am actually using the sum only instead of using the sum i am going to say actually show as percentage okay or maybe i will say rather i will take it average okay and let's see what happens and i will click okay okay now it has added an average okay now this is be little bit confusing so let's go and check it check it to the make it actually the sum okay let's go and change it to the field that is a little average and change it to the sum only okay let's see what it shows in the sum okay so that it should be a reasonable for the person to understand it okay so it's going me giving him sum okay this is how the cross tab report works here okay is not very difficult it just requires a little bit of work that's it okay i will stop here